Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a quick kind of quasi first impressions kind of unboxing. This knife didn't come to me in a box, so I'm going to kind of bundle that together. Um, I've only carried this knife for a couple hours, so it's not like a deep first impressions, but I also don't have a box to unbox it in, so unbox it from. I don't know. <laughs> um, this is a kind of exciting one. So this is a knife by Kubi, and I think it's the first Kubi knife I've ever even handled. Definitely the first one I've reviewed, unless I'm really forgetful. Um, I've been aware of Kubi for a while. K-U-B-E-Y is how it's spelled. I hope I'm saying that right. I just haven't tried anything of theirs. And uh, I had the chance on this past Tuesday, uh, so two days ago now that I'm filming this, it's been busy, so <laughs> I haven't gotten to this until now, but um, I got to meet up with my buddy Transparent Knives, and uh, he's a really cool dude. So we met up for lunch, and the purpose of meeting up was so that he could loan this to me. We had talked about it, and it was cool to also just get to know him a little bit. We had chatted on Instagram quite a few times before that, but it's always fun meeting a knife buddy in person, and luckily he's pretty local to me. So we met up for lunch. He handed this off to me, and uh, this is the way I see it. I believe it's a prototype. Um, I'll have to figure out more specific details about it. I'm almost certain this one is a prototype, but I don't think there are any changes for the production one. I'm not sure when and where and how these will be available. They may even be available to order or purchase already, and I'm just not aware of it. I'm brand new to learning about this, so by the time I do the full review, I'll share more about it, but I'll also link down below um, to the designer of this, it's from Parsons Blade Works. He's the designer who collaborated with Kubi on this. I'll link to his Instagram and his site. I'll link to Kubi, I might as well. Um, their site, I don't know if they have an Instagram as well, they probably do. And then I'll link to Transparent Knives because he's the one who made this happen. But Parsons Blade Works, I have it written down below me so I don't forget it because it's the first I've really come into contact with this designer, but he's a friend of a friend, so it's cool to be checking it out. Um, this is a collaboration between him and Kubi. So this is a Kubi knife that bears his logo because it's his design. So this should be, I think, kind of a catalog option from Kubi. It's not like a, he had an OEM run done and he's selling it. This also says Kubi on it. This is their knife. So <coughs> it's a front flipper. Interesting design. It's called the Barracuda. I know that. And uh, I was curious to see it from having just seen it in pictures on Transparent Knives' page. I was like, yeah, it looks like it interesting little front flipper. I was curious to see kind of the proportions of it and all that. And then now that I've got it in hand, it's even cooler to me than I thought it would be. I was also curious to see how a Kubi felt in person, in reality, and it feels pretty nice. Um, so first impressions, just going to talk briefly about what I've noticed so far about it. Um, but let's check it out first and talk about the materials that are being used on it so that you can see everything that's going on here. Um, the blade steel on this guy is going to be S30V. Why did I say that so weird? S30V? <laughs> I said that really weird, didn't I? It felt weird. Um, so yeah, S30V blade steel, basically a full flat grind. It looks like back here, I guess there's the tiniest bit of a flat. I'd call it a full flat because for most of the blade, there's no, um, no flat above the bevel. Um, nice, pretty thin behind the edge profile, especially for not a super tall blade. I like the blade profile, not an overly thick blade stock, not particularly thin either. Um, I'd say it's on the thinner end, but it's not like, wow, that's thin. And then rest of the construction to me appears to be full titanium. So we've got titanium scales, titanium clip, titanium screws, titanium pivot screws and pivot collars. Uh, these pivot collars are kind of a teardrop shape. They look pretty cool. There is this machined in line on the scales and then you've got like a little bit of contouring going on and as you can see it's a liner lock um no liner on the show side because it's titanium but then on the lock side obviously there is a liner screwed in there i'm assuming that that is a steel liner i'm not positive though i guess it could be titanium i do see a ceramic detent and yeah so ceramic detent runs on bearings front flipper the detent is stiff it's like pretty strong for a front flipper, but I don't mind that. If anything, I would consider it a positive for the knife because I prefer a stronger detent generally, and it makes it really poppy. Um, on closure, it's not drop shutty, but it's a relatively thin, pretty light blade, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, but yeah, very smooth, and it's a nice pop to open. Um, it's not a reversible clip, so I don't know how 
lefty friendly it'll be right off the bat oh, i guess that wasn't too bad for me um it's a liner lock so that's nice that you're not pressing on the lock bar that's the thing about front flippers that i find is more problematic than on other opening methods like if you have a frame lock that's a front flipper it's difficult because especially on a skinny knife like this you, i would be putting so much pressure on the lock bar just naturally because of where my hand wants to go the fact that it's a liner lock i think is the right way to construct this knife because now you don't have to worry about pressing on the lock bar you can't it's inside so um i guess it's not that intuitive lefty maybe i got lucky on that first one no it's not too bad so yeah, liner lock I think is the right move on a front flipper, especially one with a pretty narrow profile like this. I like that they took that front flipper tab and really kind of extended it upwards. It makes it very easy to get the leverage that you need. Some people might not like the looks of that. I think it's necessary here. Um, it just functionally makes a big difference. The only jimping that's really on the knife is going to be up here for the front flipper in reality so you've got plenty of traction there so you can see when it's open i got a decent stretch of jimping it does extend pretty far forward ergos are pretty good right off the bat i like the way this knife feels in hand pocket clip doesn't give me any hot spots there's nothing jabbing me anywhere it's just kind of the right size for my hand not too big not too small i get all four fingers on it don't feel overly cramped but yeah it feels nice i like it um, yeah, I think it's nicer than I was, this may be fair, this may be unfair, but it's nicer than I was expecting a Kubi to be. And maybe that's just because I hadn't experienced one before, and it was another Chinese OEM who seems relatively new, and I just, I don't know, I haven't even watched many videos of other people reviewing other knives of theirs, so I don't know all that much about, I didn't know much about what to expect for quality and and the way that this knife would feel in person but it feels nice it feels well built the lockup is solid no side to side no front to back i do see a, a kind of dimple on the flap right up there you can probably see that right under my finger there it's a uh, it looks to me like this knife has been rockwell tested i don't know who did that or when but that's cool to see that that's a step that's been taken um s30v is a good steel i wouldn't say it's my favorite steel but it's far from the bottom of my list i like s30v it's good and decent i don't know yet what these cost or are going to cost but yeah i'm intrigued by this knife i think barracuda is the right name for it it's got some cool stuff going on it's not a knife that if i just saw like on the internet scrolling through instagram or whatever would get me to buy it if i hadn't experienced it yet and i'm still not sure whether i'll end up buying one for myself i i've been thinning my collection a lot so there's a decent chance i won't but now that i've handled it i'm way more interested in this knife and in kubi in general i guess um and in this guy's other designs it sounds like he designs a number of knives and has some designs ready and stuff like seems like somebody to maybe be on the lookout for because the design feels good in hand the proportions feel right for what type of knife it is. The construction is nice from Kubi. Um, and in person, it looks pretty good. I feel like it looks a little better than it did in the pictures that I saw. Maybe it's just the effect of having it in person. Maybe video will capture that for you. But I like it. I dig Warncliffe blade shapes. I think this is going to be a very functional EDC cutter. I like the blade profile. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot that seems to be good that's happening here. Um, it's a titanium milled clip which isn't generally my favorite but it's done well and it looks nice it carries pretty thin it's not what i would consider like super lightweight especially for it being pretty thin it's kind of like 940 dimensions in my head um it doesn't feel super light but it's not heavy either it doesn't feel like a brick so it's cool i i'm digging it so far so i'm gonna be carrying it i have permission to carry and use it i'm not going to be abusing it or doing anything crazy but i'll be putting it through some regular edc paces and seeing how it does and then ultimately there will be a full review but yeah i it's one of those cases where like i was willing to check it out because it was a new designer i wasn't aware of from a manufacturer that i haven't experienced yet and it was a buddy of mine who offered to loan it loan it to me and let me use and carry it which is like great that's i've stopped taking most loaners but this was a situation where it was like yeah i'm curious enough but I wasn't like 
expecting to, I don't know. I was expecting to be like, yeah, cool, whatever. But I feel like I'm a notch above that. I'm, I'm interested in this knife now and it's, it's snappy. It's poppy. It's a cool little front flipper. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it does over time, but I'll, uh, I'll have a full review within the relatively near future. And, uh, I guess that's it for my not unboxing slash semi first impressions. This is a, an interesting video. It's not in my typical cadence doing it this way, but yeah, hopefully it's been a little insightful. Um, I'll link, like I said, to all the players involved in this down below. Um, by the time I do my full review, I'll try to have a, a better understanding of the details of when and where and how it'll be available, what it'll cost, all that, so I can mention it. But in the meantime, uh, based on the links that'll be listed down below, you can do some research on your own. Please don't comment asking me the details that I don't know yet, because I'm not going to research them for you until I care enough to sit down and do it, and I'm not going to go and answer every question one by one in the comments. That's just not something I'm going to do. So, the links will be down below if you want to ask questions about it. I'm sure you could DM the designer. He'd probably be happy to talk about it. Um, you can look it up on Kubi's site or on their Instagram or whatever. I don't know. But, it's cool. It's here. I'm excited to be checking it out. Thanks again to Transparent Knives for loaning it to me and for meeting up with me. That was fun to do lunch with him. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for checking it out, guys. That was a big fly that just flew by. Um, you guys are awesome. I'll see you on the next one.